So quick introduction, Bala, Praveen, myself, we're part of the Digital Media Subcommittee, which is a subcommittee of the SSSIO Media Committee. Um, and we work on all the um, things you see on social media, prayer videos, and anything related to digital media, really. Um, so for more information on that, you can also visit satisai.org or check out where we are on satisai.org slash subscribe. Uh, so as uh, Ishina has mentioned, we are part of the Digital Media Subcommittee. Uh, we'd like to thank everyone for joining this call. Um, I know a lot of you have been on several online meetings and events and sessions during this uh, time in the pandemic. So thank you for taking a little more time out of your day to sit down and uh, hear us or uh, yeah. Um, we'd also like to thank you for the wonderful work that you do and you will be doing for Swami. Um, of course, you're doing it for Swami and not us. Um, but And we're also going to be happy to answer some questions after this presentation. Um, if you can also answer this poll that has just gone up um, on your screen. Uh, we'd love to hear uh, a little more about you. Um, but in the meantime, while you are answering the poll, uh, we're going to move on. And uh, yeah. so one, one of the first things that helps maintain uh, consistency during your time working on any branded uh, media work, um, and it also helps when transitioning to the next team uh, that will continue your work in a, is a style guide. And uh, we're going to have Sister Ishina speak a little bit more on that. Um, so as we're going to go along this um, presentation, we're just going to talk about a few things about social media, graphics, video, audio. Um, but it's always good to start with the purpose of why, why we're doing these things, right? Um, sharing Swami's message through these digital media platforms and spreading his message of love. Um, to especially the younger generation who are now online a lot more. Um, so one thing to remember, and I think it will be touched on again and probably already has been touched on, is whatever we do online is a reflection of Swami. It is not our names that are on these accounts. It is Swami's name at the end of the day. And that's why there has to be a large amount of perfection in what we do. Um, to live up to his standards. Swami himself was a perfectionist. He always ensured quality control was done himself as well. And that's why we're suggesting something like a style guide would benefit um, different, different teams that are doing many things. You know, there are different teams who work on national zonal center accounts and um, teams that do maybe just focus on emails, newsletters, website content generation, and then there may just be a social media team um, that focuses on content for that. So although there are many different teams, when you have something like a style guide for your zone, your center, your country, you're able to ensure consistency throughout um, the accounts, throughout the um, platforms you use to ensure that the messaging that you're putting out to your viewers is consistent and in line with um, looking professional and uh, being a good reflection of Swami's name. We don't want to look, we, uh, although this is not a corporate world, um, we still want to make sure we're presenting ourselves well and looking, um, looking good on there as well. So one thing to always check for online is spelling. All right, so when you have a style guide, and it's something that we did when we started working together late 2015, is putting together a document of key um, words of things of how we spell. And everyone spells things uh, differently, right? Whether you capitalize the word divine, whether you don't, um, and re in re any references to Swami should be capitalized. Stuff like that is good for a document. Um, and I'll share some examples after I go through this list as well. And it's also good because while you have different people working on different things, you're able to all reference one document um, to ensure that throughout your center national zonal platforms, you're able to um, see everything and everyone's consistent in spelling and messaging. Another thing um, to be aware of, and Brother Praveen will carry on talking about this later on, is fonts. 
Um, so although, you know, when your content is posted, for example, let's say on social media, you may think, okay, this is a country account and only people in my country are going to see it. So I'm going to target to that audience. And that's great. That's fine. Probably the majority of your viewers will be from your country, but a large amount will also be from international viewers. Um, so when you're using fonts, ensure that it is people are able to read it and understand. When you use cursive fonts, um, people whose first language isn't English, um, they're going to have issues reading this and trying to understand. And we want to ensure that Swami's message is clear throughout. Another thing um, that recently switched um, in the organization from UK English is throughout across the international organization, we have now switched to US English. Um, so to keep in line with the organization, it is recommended that the international organizations in the countries around the world do make this switch as well. Um, so everyone's messaging is in line together. The other thing when doing graphics or any quotes on Swami, you know, we all receive quotes on WhatsApp, forwards from our family members, friends of Swami's quotes. But one thing I always tend to look out for is a citation. Is, is this actually what Swami said or is this what someone has written? Is this from a book of, that's, um, of someone sharing an experience with Swami and they're saying this is what Swami has said? Um, whenever you share a quote, it's crucial to share a citation, not only to you know, prove to someone this is actually what Swami said, but to also show that if someone wants to read on from that quote, they have the ability to go on and find that and read more. Continue on reading. Okay, logos and URL is something as well that we advise everyone to put on. And um, over this presentation, do look out for our logo placements. Um, Bala has very strategically placed them in, like as you can see in this current slide, the telescope is pointing to the logo. So ensuring that when you're, for example, putting a graphic online, um, it's accessible to anyone, right? Even emails can be forwarded. And we want to make sure that people aren't reusing other people's content. I mean, we're all here to share Swami's content, but for example, in relation to the SSSIO social media account, right? When we place logos and URLs, we, we, we place it in a place where it can't be cropped out, can't be covered out, not because we don't want to share our graphics, but mainly because if someone else posts a graphic on a center account or on a personal account, their viewers can see, okay, this came from sadisa.org. And if they want to find out more about what's happening, they're able to then go online and find that um, from the actual source. So that, that's why we're suggesting that as well. Another thing is consistent hashtags throughout your social media platforms. This again could be very basic. I'm sure a lot of you already know all of this and I'm just being repetitive, but it's just a quick refresher. Hashtags for your center accounts, your national accounts are great because if I come across a center account and I want to see more of what they're doing, um, I tend to click on that hashtag and see, okay, this is an account. I don't follow them already. Let me find out what they're doing. Another thing we recommend is to also use the same hashtags that globally everyone uses. So now with the change to, from Satisai to Sri Satisai, we're using hashtag Sri Satisai, hashtag SSSIO, hashtag Sai Young Adults has been used for about five years now. So using those in your captions mean everyone is, we're all working together, right? We're all unified. We're all um, placing things in the same, uh, in the same way. And Again, we're not a corporate organization, right? We are a spiritual organization and our content and design should bear that in mind. You know, keeping Swami and his message at the forefront while also ensuring we are being responsible and not putting his name into justice. You know, there was a time where, where a lot of memes were placed online and people were saying, you know, this, this isn't reflect, a reflection of Swami. You know, we can't be doing that. Also, what we've seen online, like especially during Christmas, I came across a graphic um, of um, Swami with someone had photoshopped a Santa hat on that. Uh, let's try and keep Swami and respect his form as much as possible. Let's not put him in uh, snow globes, in Santa hats, and he's beautiful as it is, and he, we don't need to add, add more to his, his form. So when you're putting together a style guide or you're working together with a team who's putting a lot of content together, always cross-check your spelling. Refer to the Sri Satisai International Organization's website. There's a whole page of discourses on there as well. Um, see how, how things are being spelled across the organization and try to follow that. 
and again don't be afraid to ask questions ask your zone chair if you must ask your national young adult coordinator your national media coordinator zonal media coordinator or you could ask us drop us an email message us on social media one of us is most likely to respond um and do do put together a fixed guide that you and your team can follow keep consistent across um center messages social media only because we want to ensure that what we're putting out is perfect for swami if if things aren't consistent and spelling is all over the place and formats is all over the place again it is a reflection of swami it is not a reflection of who we are and we want to make sure we're doing everything to the utmost best to the best standard we can for him so a key spelling error that we've seen online is the spelling of prashanti nilayam this is the correct spelling of prashanti there are no more h's in between there's no h after the s this is how um prashanti nilayam is spelled even if you walk around east prashanti south prashanti west prashanti this is how it's been spelled around the ashrams this is how uh, the shri satya sai media center spells it how the organization spells it so do follow this uh going forward if you can please um here's another thing bhagwan shri satya sai baba so what we've noticed online is sometimes people spell bhagwan with a v and brother praveen has a quick story he's going to share on this So a uh, quick story about uh, Bhagwan is that uh you probably have noticed that people will spell it with a you know w or a v um one time Swami asked somebody you know do you think I'm a car do you think I'm a van then why do you write bhagavan and so um that was his way of letting people know that he prefers this pronunciation with bhagavan so we have to spell it with a w uh you might be accustomed to spelling it with a v but when people see the v they know that v is pronounced differently right than a w so this is one more reason to uh, be uh, just careful and and look for this thanks praveen and do ensure now with um whenever referencing swami do ensure that you including shri um the organization has recently sw- shifted to ensure in all formal communication it's swami's name is referenced as shri satya sai baba so please do um follow that going forward too and the, okay going to citations so this is how uh, we have our, we've been doing citations on the website this is how our citations on the social media account um if you follow if you follow our channel on telegram this is how you'll be seeing um how this uh, citations are we follow the same format throughout all our messaging on be on the side of the shrisa this international organization and also um for those who follow us on social media although we may have a shorter part of the quote on the graphic our captions usually have the longer part of the quote um where possible so if someone comes across this graphic it might be forwarded on whatsapp and this quote especially i really love is when he is in you why do you lose hope um be always joyful optimistic courageous i might want to go read up more um so i can, i know okay i can google shri satya sai speaks volume 1 chapter 23 the reason we don't um use page numbers is because books have been updated so as much as possible you know people have different versions different copies and they might not come across what we have so just keep volumes and chapter numbers and that's clear enough most of the time 